I want it to make something big. Building a little model, that's fine, but uh, building a little model that does something is better, and, and building a big model that does something is even better. You don't anticipate what it's going to be like when you have a stroke because you go from being able to do everything to being able to do nothing and it's a very terrifying experience. I got through it because of the, the staff here, Baylor, the, the nurses and the doctors and, and everybody was there for me. I wanted to give back. I try to get them out of themselves and just have some fun. We started using Lego physics as a means to work on cognition and fine motor skills with our patient and it was a way for Pat to be able to continue to be involved and give back. We uh, started out building the smaller projects. You know, we didn't have any goal in mind. There's just uh, a theme to get working on. So as we got to building those, we got to thinking, you know, well, why don't we do the state fair? And I'd never been to the state fair, so I didn't know anything about it. So I, I had to get them to give me ideas. Pat would come up with a project. He would create the project, put it all together, and he'd bring up his kits and we would assign patients to the group and then we would all come together and work on it. They built the gondolas for the Ferris wheel, the, the little frogs on the merry-go-round, the cars for the roller coaster. They actually built all of the arcade setups and, and all of the pavilions. For well over a year, we continued to work on that project and that was something that we could put on display and bring to the patients during the state fair, especially if they're not available to attend we could create our own fair atmosphere here. Pat had little people that they could pick out and put wherever they wanted in the fair. I've heard so many people come back and say, well, this is my avatar, this is me. It's been talked about all over the place. People come up to me, oh, there's the Lego man. So uh, it was a big hit. We may add to it. I, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we, we are gonna do it again. It works well because it's different. It's thinking outside the box, putting their energy into creating something and taking their mind off what about them is not working because when you're engaged in a project that is exciting to you, you tend to forget about those things. I, I consider myself planting seeds of encouragement and hope. So many of the guys that I've worked with, they, they come back later and say, you know, you did a lot for me. Just not so much what you were doing with the Legos, but the fact that I can see that there's the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. It takes a troop. You, you, you can't do it by yourself. So I want to be there. And that's, that's why I do this. <laughs>